friends, it's Candy, and welcome to my channel where I make weekly videos about frugal, intentional living. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. I hope you'll like this video, and I hope you'll share with others. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. So without further ado, let's get started. So today I am going to go over my October budget. I pinned it in with this pen right here. This is a Signo Uniball pen. It's just a black gel pen, I believe. I did have some trouble like pinning this in with this. I don't know if the ink is a bit older in this one. Uh, I think we've probably had this for a while. But anyway, that's what I used. And of course, as always, I budget with my trusty composition notebook. So let's flip right to our October budget. So up here, as you can see, I got a little bit fancy this month, guys. And so I used these watercolor brush pens by Crafty Croc. I had bought these earlier. I believe I bought them off of Amazon. And so I bought them with the intention of using them to color in an adult coloring book that I also purchased from Amazon. So if I can find my link, I'll link it below so that you can also purchase some for yourself as well. Um, so anyway, I got a little crafty up there and a little artsy. And so I made my little O in October into a pumpkin. So I thought that was pretty cute and festive. So our total debt for the month is $42,299. You zoom in a little bit. As you can see right here, you can see the ink didn't do too well. And you can still see my pencil markings because I've got to go back over this <laughs> and make it look a little bit neater. But anyway, um, so that's what we started the month off with. Our debt snowball is my husband's car, who we lovingly named Carly. She's at $2,087.47 at the beginning of the month. So this is our first paycheck that we get on September 30th for $2,081.09. Um, our home mortgage is due on 10-1 at $556.55. Our Citibank card is due on 10-1, and this is payment um, um, two, and this payment should you know, pay for this, which is the total amount that this bill was. Um, the Citibank bill closes on 10-8, and so I will know for our second paycheck what to, what to expect then. But for now, this is um, payment two, um, and I made the first uh, payment back in September. So this one has been paid off. On 10-1 also, guys, I'm going back to the gym, and so I've already been back, and, you know, my first um, day back there was really good. Um, I put that this has gone up because last month I didn't pay anything because my gym membership was on hold. Um, unfortunately, though, a lot of the classes that they're having now, the group fitness classes, which I really enjoyed are at a time frame where I can't necessarily go to them. So I'm just going to have to use the treadmill and the equipment and stuff like that. So it's kind of unfortunate. That's one of the reasons why I opened up a gym membership is so that I can meet new people and do the group fitness classes. And of course, they have an all new aeration system in there or air filtration system. They have a lot more um, sanitizing stations in there, and so, and I believe if I were to attend a group fitness class at the gym, that they do adhere to social distancing guidelines, and they have, you know, your spots marked out for you where you can be. So, that's really good, um, but unfortunately, for the time being, I probably most likely will not be able to participate in any group fitness classes. So that's a real bummer, but I'm glad to be able to go and see some friendly faces again. 
On 10.5, our power is due. Um, and this actually went down, as you can see here by this arrow. It was $173.03. On 10-7, I still do not owe my student loan, which is at zero still, um, and it will be until the end of December. Um, I did get the notification in both my email and I went to their website to confirm that yes, due to the, um, um, the president letting the, uh, I guess the president of the Department of Education know um, that we still will adhere to the original, I guess, CARES Act administrative forbearance on student loans until the end of the year. So that's really great. I'm really excited about that because that means we can continue with our debt snowball and pay my husband's car off. On 1010, we have our water bill, which went up, I believe it was 20 some odd dollars last month, and it's back up to its normal $33, which is up from last month. 1013 is Total Wireless. I highly recommend them. I'll leave my link for them down below if you're interested in switching your cell phone service provider. I pay $59.07 each month. Um, and this remains the same pretty much. I'm on auto deduct, so I get a slight discount, but not very much because normally it would just be 60 bucks. Um, and this is for me and my husband for, I believe, unlimited data. So that's really good. Um, 1014, this is my husband's student loan. There again on administrative forbearance until the end of the year, which means we get to throw a grand. Um, which I split up into two payments on my husband's car. And so I paid $500 toward his car payment for this first paycheck spread. And coming down here, we also give ourselves an allowance of 80 bucks. I get 40 bucks in cash. My husband gets 40 bucks in cash. Now I do pay my children an allowance, which they usually charge on our credit card for Robux. I don't know if your kids play Roblox, but mine do, and they're really into it. So Robux is just what they like to spend their allowance on. And unfortunately, they won't take a debit card, so we have to use the Citibank credit card. Gas, I put it $40 because I'm driving a lot more now. I probably should have put an arrow near this, um, that that has gone up a bit. Um, I did have it set at $35 last month, but um, I just upped it to an even $40 um, between me and my husband. And we're going to see how that works out. Groceries is also up because um, I've been trying to eat more healthy and more low carb. And unfortunately, guys, when you eat healthier, you pay more. I mean, if, if there's a magic um, couponing tactic or something that I need to know, please let me know in the comments below. But since I've gone low carb, um, I've been having to pay a little bit more, probably because I eat more meat, and meat is more expensive than your typical vegetable out there. So anyway, it is what it is, and so this is what I our new this is our new grocery budget. In the past, I have set it at three hundred, um, but like I said, I think I was busting that budget, and I've definitely busted it last month so I thought well I probably just need to make this go up some so anyway that's where that is at BB that stands for budget buffer this is what was left before we got paid in our main checking account our main checking account goes to pay for our bills we take our allowance gas and groceries out of the main checking account and this is what is left before we got paid some people call it a cushion. I just call it a budget buffer. Slush fund. This is a separate checking account I have that is after we pay for all of this stuff up here. This is what is left over. So um, initially um, what was left over from last month was $23.34. And so I was able to add only $12.66, guys, giving us a grand total of $36 in the slush fund. So, 
that says to me that we've been cutting our budget pretty close. Now, we did go on vacation recently, and that might be the reason for that, because if you notice up here, that's kind of high. And not only that, Total Wireless's billing cycle changed for some weird reason. It used to be closer to the 27th and 28th that it would come out. And I don't know what happened, but um, it came out on, it's been coming out on the 13th lately. And that started back in September. So, not sure what's going on with that. So, I have a, a few more bills more to pay. Or, not a few more. It's just total wireless. And Lord knows how, what it's going to be like whenever our student loans come back into play. And we have to pay those too. So... But for now, I'm just going to, it is what it is, guys. So, I may end up having to pull from our savings account. And it's unfortunate, but it's a reality. And at least I have it there to pull from. So, I'm really grateful for that. All right, moving right along. Some important dates that I'd like to adhere to this month. Because, you know, it's very important to me to do fall family fun activities. Um, and so, on 10, 11, I'm planning on going apple picking. And then on maybe 10, 10 or 10, 12, we were going to go visit a local pumpkin patch. And then from 10, 12 to 10, 14 is my daughter's fall break. And so I don't know how many other fall activities we may be able to do in here, but I'm sure we'll find something to do because I like to really make memories and pack in that fall fun you know whenever my daughter's out of school and my son as well you know I give him breaks too even though he's a homeschooled child so friends I am hot I have this hoodie on but it is still pretty warm here in Georgia I mean it's been cold in during the mornings but then it ramps back up and it gets back up into the 70s here so, anyways, guys, let me know um, some, if you have any budgeting tips for that grocery budget, I mean, I've had to make it go up, guys, because I've been trying to eat healthier, I've been trying to eat low carb, and it's been working for me, guys, I think I've lost some weight, I've definitely lost some inches, my clothes are fitting better, and so I'm really excited about that, and... I feel almost like I have more energy too. It's it's kind it's kind of weird, but I mean it's good too. So, and also, let me know what kind of fall activities you're gonna do. Um, when is your children's fall break? And if they do have a fall break, what are you guys planning on doing? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below what fun fall activities you're gonna do with your family in October. And as always, friends, I hope you're having a great day. Take care. I'll see you next time.